Yo, what is up guys, Shogun here, and welcome back to another video on Treasure Wars. So today, guys, I actually want to go ahead and I want to hit up a heroic scroll because once again, we haven't done one in a while. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly open this up so we can get right into it and up, down, left, right, which way do I go? So we've got a really easy one to start off, which I really like. So I still have all my stuff from yesterday. So let me quickly go here. I need this, and I need this and this. So I need to quickly make these actual ingots instead of the block forms and then work bench it. And then I think you make it like this, I actually don't even remember. I did this every time, but I always forget. Yeah, there you go. So, craft nine diamond blocks. Yeah, we're getting stuff really easy. So, we're probably going to get something like, I don't even know. Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. I can just do this. Just a little trick with this. I didn't have to buy that many. I can just put it back in, take it out again, and do this, and just pick it up again. There you go. So, mine one enderman spawner. So, I'm pretty sure I have one, so I can just go ahead, head to the base. So, we're going through this so quickly right now. I don't know how we're doing it, but... We're doing it and I'm going to carry on with it because we're on the third step already and this is a legendary step. Our first one was a heroic step even though I don't think it really matters what tier the steps are in but yeah either way. And we actually spent a bit of money there as well. I don't know why I'm worrying about spending that and I don't like how my galaxy set looks yellow right now. I really want to change that back to like an original color but yeah I'll do that later. So what I need right now is an enderman spawner so I think I have one no, I think I gave mine already yeah I think I gave it to someone I forgot who it was though okay this isn't good but I think I do have one or two left in my PV maybe alright he said he is gonna throw on the AH now so there it is 70k so we'll go ahead and do that let me quickly toggle my gifts back off and what did this guy give me his I don't know who that is I'll just quickly redeem it so it doesn't lie on the floor there you go, pick this over here, get our pickaxe once again, and I don't think I have a silk touch, so, oh god, alright, this isn't really too good, PV12, I need to do this really quickly, just in case these guys stack up too much, uh, I probably won't even kill them now, actually, just in case, so, efficiency 3, I think I'm gonna have to mine this without a silk, okay, there, we've got a silk right there, actually, I don't know why, a sizzle, a crunch, and a crack, nice one, dude, okay, I'm not sure if I wanna, mm, Alright, uh, should I take a couple of like, time lapses? Let's just check like what the day cycle is on right now, and depending on that, we could actually just time lapse this bit. I leave this guy here because I think if we leave it despawn anyway, and it's not even night yet, so oh gosh, dude, I'm gonna have to wait like a solid 20 minutes for this to go all the way up over there, and then once it's there, it's gonna have to go all the way back, all the way around here, and 360 back up, not all the way up there, just probably around there somewhere. So yeah, this is gonna take a while. Holy, let me quickly check the H over time before I actually stop this at speed 3. Okay, yeah, we're not going to time lapse this. We should probably, but yeah, I can't really make it fast enough for it. She's probably going to last a minute at least. So I'll see you guys in a sec. But yeah, and here's an extra tip for you guys in case you guys are doing it as well. So once you get, what's it called, watch the sunrise in the wars. And I do believe you have to actually be in the wars. And after that patch, or even if that doesn't work, because I know some of these are really glitchy, you can just come up here and do exactly what I'm doing. Basically, start walk planes and just get the three little ingredients that you need that I'm about to get now. So even if you have watched the sunrise, it sometimes glitches out and says that even though it actually is this one over here. So yeah, that's just a little heads up to you guys in case you guys have your scrolls glitched. Alright, so finished without me even realizing. So now we are on the fourth step already. I think I've been blown through this a bit too quickly actually. So either way, this guy's been throwing me stuff while I was AFK. So I actually grabbed out a few things we can merchant while I was actually AFKing this. So here we go. Let's just do these two rooms. We can get an anti life. And we get an unholy fire from this one. And we get a necro 10 from this one. And we get an anti life. So I don't really mind that because we can use it to bump up. But not the best choice. And there we got that one to fill. So whatever, dude. So yeah, these are the three ingredients you need anyway for it to work. So <laughs> he's still throwing me his money notes. And that guy got it. He can keep it, dude. I don't really want it. But he actually gave it back. Nice guy, dude. 20k. You can have your money back, dude. I don't need these handouts. And here is it. Let me just quickly store this somewhere where I'll actually find it. So PV2, I need to remember that. So you guys will probably remember that and I won't. So what is it actually again? Four thirty blocks and survive. So with this one I do believe I need to go ahead and head to spawn wilderness from there and then I guess I'll show you guys how to do it because I think I did this in my last rook episode as well. So yeah, here we go, wilderness and let's go ahead and do kit starter. This is probably the best way to do it. Let's just quickly throw all of this stuff out. I don't need any of this. We can do this and this. All right, that's nice. So, we need to find, I guess this area is perfectly fine over here. So, we just go ahead and build up until we have two blocks left because we only have 32 on us for this sand stack. And two, and there you go. So, now we throw these two away, turn our fly off, and then when we fall down, we land on this tree. We won't take any fall damage. Fall again. 
We should take some. So now you stack up again. This only happens to people that fly because you won't take full damage the first time. So yeah, let me just quickly fly back up and not fly back up. I'm just quickly build back up. And there you go. So now I'll take full damage from this one. I need to land over here next to it. So I probably should have actually. I dodged the damage, but I probably should have put my IG pet on. But either way, I guess it worked in the end. So yeah, let me go ahead and grab. Who is she? This guy's probably a little bit better for mining, actually. Probably through all of this guy's junk out. No, I actually need my pot, so I'm gonna have to jump into the freaking rubble there just to pick up my blocks. So, I mean, not my blocks, I actually need my pots because I'm not, I'm running pretty low, I guess. I'm gonna have to get these ones from gifts by buying of people, but yeah, either way, let me just quickly, yeah, let's just put it on. Alright, here we go. So, it took me a really long while to find this, even though it was right next to where I was. So, I flew up and I found this little area over here. So yeah, I can actually go ahead and mine these up and a little strat for this is you can actually still touch these, plant them in the base and then after you plant them in the base you can actually go ahead and let me just quickly mine this up. Actually I'll probably do that now. So yeah, uh, let me switch this out. So once you plant it in the base after a server restart it counts as a fresh block. I mean you can actually mine it up once again after the restart and it will count for your scroll if you're doing a scroll and holy crap I thought this was a guy over here. So yeah, uh, I probably should have activated that. Is there any more coal around here? Please tell me there is. That was only like, let's see, six coal, holy. Looks like this mine is also explored, so that's probably why there's like holes everywhere as well. Let me go deeper down in here. Hope he didn't mine everything up. And there he go, he didn't. So I need 30 coal blocks. So here we go. Um, let's mine this all up real quick. Probably set this up for the little heroic room in our base, which would be looking sick, I guess. And then we can go over here and we've got 16 so far so meaning we've got how many on the scroll 23 and have we got anything in the sky right now it doesn't look like we have anything up there so i'm going to go ahead head through here and hopefully we find some more coal and there you go lucky guess we actually did find some more coal and let's quickly mine this up get a kill in the walls and with the pet so i think i should quickly do this now before a lot of op people come online and try to gank me so let me quickly pv this anti-life as well put this in here um can throw this out over here put this uh pickaxe back over here and don't need this and i guess we are good to go i can keep that in my thing there so i just need to activate it and quickly kill somebody so i'll kill a loop real quick so the meta way of digging in really obviously not going to kill anyone with the god say on why you're doing this i'd be really stupid here we go so i found such a nice and easy kill so i'm going to jump on this guy quickly activate my pet and there you go so that was actually really delayed that i don't know why at least i had time to activate my pets we've got 128 sugar cane I'm not sure how long this is actually going to take me because I don't have a farm and we had one in our old base but you guys obviously know what happened to that and guys obviously came to our base and you know just friendly friendly excavated our sugar friendly okay yeah either way um here we go we're trying to destroy 128 sugar cane so I'm gonna have to go ahead to the base and probably talk from the ally to get TP into the sugar cane farm because I guess the straight I guess the same meta works over here you can actually go ahead and place these down in like the base and then after a reef slot you can mine them up but like, you don't really need to do that considering they grow so fast you can just put them down have them grow but if you have time but i have time right now but i think it'd be best if i actually do go ahead and hit up one of the allies so right guys i have to say thanks to brown the judge because this guy actually helped me out with this he tp'd me into his base and accessed me to his land so i can actually go ahead and mine this up so i just temporarily allied him so i could do it so yeah let me get this out real quick so We'll do it from the top first. I don't even think we have to do it like that, but I don't really want to replant it, so I'll do it from the top so I don't have to replant it because it'll grow back anyway. And if it doesn't work out, we can still do the bottom after that and then end up replanting it after that because I think that's the better solution. So, yeah, let me do the top tree like this. We'll go really quickly if I missed anything out over here, but I've missed these ones, but it doesn't really matter. See, so yeah, either way, let's do this. I think we're breaking like the bottom one and then the top one right after because we're doing it that fast. Yeah, either way let's carry on like so and i still need to be added to the land over here uh oh i only need one more as well uh let me just mess it actually i could just do this uh can i do any of these and there you go dude our thing is done so yeah i don't even have to do any of this so let's go pig spawner nothing there pig zombie rare loot create skelly and a sword gem so that was honestly one of the worst i've done and let me just say thank you thank you bro and let me actually throw him a little payment for that. So here you go, dude. You can have this. Actually, no, that's just kind of ripping him off. I'll give him both of these. It's still, like, basically this was nothing for us. You can still have two of these spawners. I don't know. You can have them if you want. Here, dude, take it. And uh, you can have... Actually, I need that one, actually. So I'll take the skelly. 
and I'm gonna have to neutral him right after I leave the base choose you can have this just take all of it dude you can have it all I actually came in in a legend set as well I put away my IG pen all that good stuff just in case I got trapped so let me actually quickly neutral this guy so brown the job that just neutral him his faction is called energy as well so I don't know how that name wasn't taken but yeah, let me just throw all of this out. We can put this soul gem on H for like 75k maybe. Now nah, let's go 65k. And with the red loot crate, we can open, go back, pitchfork. Nope, can go back. I don't really want to. Hmm, I can sell this right now. But the thing with that is that I actually did this scroll and I've got nothing else that's good from it. So I'm not sure how I feel about it if I actually do end up selling this. I already sold the soul gem almost, but. Yeah, this is, hmm, I'm not too sure. So, yeah, let me actually do this. So, speed 1, pitchfork 2, let me go PV 11, let's put, um, let's see, what else can we take? I should probably burn this head, actually, even though a lot of people already have my head, because they're all running the woods and just trolling sometimes. And that's actually nice doing that life essence tree right there. I actually don't really mind that at all. The dispensers out here, and it's probably worth a little bit more than that rune right there. That full play mode, sure, right? Not really the worst runes in the world, but we could have got something a lot better. Uh, Thorns 3, Golden Carrot, don't need that, don't need this. And that is absolutely garbage as well. You can put that back in the PV. And boys, I can see it now. <laughs> that was literally one of the worst I've done. Mm, that really actually freaking sucked. That's so dumb. I don't know why. Yeah, it's whatever. It doesn't even matter, but. Yeah, let me just get all of this out because we're usually not going to get anything good from me. I just really wish we could have got MCMO out of that. That's what I really wanted. But yeah, it looks like we couldn't even get that out of those. So let me just do this real quick. Apply all of this stuff back on. And let me run around real quick so I can get my blessed reach stack up on my food right there. And there you go. So I think it's working now. And let me turn my fly on. Shoot, it's already on. And there you go. So now we are set. I think we should actually just head to the walls and for a few minutes or something. Maybe even walk the nether. But yeah, I'll actually see you guys back in a second once we go somewhere else for the final portion of this episode. Alright, guys. Now we are at warp nether. And I think I've been AFK here for a little while. So some people are actually going to be here to actually find me. So this guy is in the ally faction of Blur, which is the kind of allied a lot of people. So not really surprising. I need to stop. I need to stop banging on about that. So much roast that. But yeah, um, here we go. So we've got Noah once again. He wants to catch some of these hands. And we've got Inspirational. He wants to catch some hands as well. And holy crap, there is a lot of these guys. I should probably end up all back. No, I need to get away from here. And holy crap, they almost took me completely out of this range. And I'm getting ganked right now, I actually do believe. So that isn't really too fun. And I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm staying there here. So here you go. I'm going to take advantage of this little spot right here. And holy crap, that did some damage. So you actually need to go ahead and take out God Search, put it over here and outline it here so that I can change it out for my fix set. But holy crap. That was kinda intense. And it was uh where is this guy going? Get shot on so we've got inspirational P as well. Let me just quickly check. Okay, yeah, the gank is serial, he even said it himself. That is the gank is way too real there. Boys, fliss. No gank, man. And then I put the sad face and then, you know, they'll be all good after that. And yeah, let me just fly back up. And here we go. So let me just get all the back up here. Uh, let's go over here. And he just hit me right back in. I was trying to turn my fly on for like a second. And this guy is just absolutely holding me hostage. This dude, you can get out. Yeah, here we go, dude. Okay, yeah, there's too many of them. That's the thing. I don't mind 1v1ing these guys. But there's like three or four of them trying to kill me right now. And my resistance is still on. I just have to double check sometimes. And holy, these guys are actually... Oh my god, these guys are actually staying in me right now. So there you go. They can actually... If there's enough of them, like you guys are seeing just there, they can actually hit you out of the little area to actually put you back into spawn. So see how much armor damage I've already taken. So yeah, let me actually end up healing this up real quick. So we've got this, this. And should redo that as well. Let's redo this. And holy crap, I took a lot of armor damage there. So yeah, let me go PV real quick. We need to put. We can use uh, Bat Vision one. That's why I don't want to use that. We can use this for the chest blade over here. But when we switch out, we can use these for the legs. We can use uh, Protection three as long as it's P three or P. Uh, what's it called? P four. I don't mind. We can use it, and we can use this as well. Actually, no. We'll use P four instead because I guess it's a little bit more tankier. Uh, chest blade over here, which is no P at all. P four. P4 and breaking one, so there you go. So now we've got an actual search fix out with, I think that should be good for us to go. Actually, no, I should do it the other way around because it's a little bit easier. So we'll do it like this. Uh, I think the chest plate just disappeared, and there you go. So yeah, 
Um, let me actually storm back in here once again. And come on, guys. Holy crap. There's a bit too many of you guys. Please. I just want to 1v1. Actually, he doesn't even want to fight me. Okay, yeah. This guy is actually wanting to fight me right now. Holy these ganks, boys. This is gang central right here. Uh, let me actually just jump on this guy. So, it looks like Blair's allies' forces are actually pretty strong, even though I'm getting 3v1. I don't think I've even dropped yet. Okay, yeah, let me just go back forward real quick. <laughs> Holy crap, this guy over here. So, yeah, let me just really deal with some more procs. And I think I just got an annihilate proc as well, so that is good. But, yeah, so I'm still not really being dropped just yet. But I think I'm going to have to wrap it up here because there are a lot of these guys. My allies aren't here either, so it's going to be kind of difficult to take on 3v1 or like 4v1, I don't even know. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy today's episode of Factions, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone. Oh, 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 oh,